of all, I want to welcome all of you. Um, so happy that all of you are here, and I know that uh, it was a big commitment to be here. Uh, it's a long way, uh, and, and we really, really thank you. The Coyle family, the Garner family, really appreciate uh, the fact that you're here, and it means a lot to us that you're here. So let's give ourselves a round of applause. Most of you had a, a, an influence in, in the life of Elizabeth or Stephen, and uh, you know, in, in the development of the character of Elizabeth and Stephen, and um, we're just so happy that they're such the fine individuals they turned out to be. About last June, Stephen called me, um, and and when Stephen calls, you know it's it's big news, and he was like, hey, it's. We got news, and I was like, "Oh, you're engaged." And he was like, "Yeah, we are." So he told me the story, and, and it was perfectly steel. There was no fanfare. There was no extravagance. They were at a winery just south of San Francisco. They were sitting in a courtyard, and it just happened to be they just happened to be by themselves. So Stephen ran up to his room, grabbed the ring, and proposed. And it was perfectly Stephen because there was no carners waiting in the bushes. There, there was no coils waiting in a locked room. It was just them. That moment was was perfectly personal, and it was yours, and it will always be yours. Hi. Hey, baby. Good. You could too. And Liz, as you know, Steven's a minimalist. He doesn't need much to be happy, and in that moment, all he needed and all he wanted was you. And that, that's all that mattered. There's so many qualities that Elizabeth has that I admire. Um, she has such enthusiasm for life. Those of you that know her know she's fired up. She has an adventurous spirit, which is really neat because that's evidenced by her courage to move by herself to San Francisco, and that ultimately led her to meet Stephen. She has a tremendous passion to succeed. She takes on all kinds of actions and activities to be successful. She's, oh, she's fun and funny, right? Everybody knows she's fun, fun and funny and a good sense of humor. She really enjoyed uh, the social aspects of team sports. So Elizabeth got into things like basketball and soccer, and she really excelled at, at those sports, but she enjoyed the social activities associated with them. Stephen is an absolute perfectionist. If he cares about something, he goes 100% all in. He did that in lacrosse, and he won a national championship in high school in 2006 with him and Derek Steyer here at Georgetown Prep. If Stephen cares about something, he goes all in. He does nothing half well. Stephen's a Duke grad, lacrosse player, NCAA national champion, two master's degree, not just one, but two master's degrees, a CFA certification. It goes on and on and on. Liz, you have always had such high standards. You are honest, opinionated, and sometimes a little suspicious. <laughs> I never had to worry about you picking the wrong person to date. When I first met Steven, I wasn't surprised at all that we got along immediately. He was completely at ease accompanying three girls as we trounced around San Francisco, drinking wine and shopping. I appreciated him even more when I realized he wasn't afraid to speak his mind. You are also incredibly kind, loyal, and forgiving. Okay, look at Liz again. So cute! Liz, look back at your girl. Let everyone giggle. That's a cover the album. You are embarking on a partnership. Remember that from this day forward, you are each other's best friend, closest confidant, and you are each other's priority. Put each other first. Make time for each other. Cultivate your relationship and grow as a couple. Whatever your responsibilities in life, be it a demanding career, house projects, golden retrievers, lots of children, 
having a home in wine country we can all come and visit, or all of these things together, make sure to take care of each other and put your relationship first. This partnership is the foundation upon which you build the rest of your life, and if you care for it above all else, you'll be an unstoppable force. It's evident uh, that Elizabeth gives 100% in whatever she takes on, be it athletics, academics, or her career. Uh, and, and, and Stephen, I know her commitment to you is nothing less than 100%. Elizabeth, I know how happy you are tonight. I can see it in your eyes. And uh, you are beautiful both inside and out. A little bird shakes the weak right off of me, filling up. I, Stephen. Take you, Elizabeth. Take you, Elizabeth. I, Elizabeth, take you, Stephen. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or poor. For richer or poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love, love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. For all the days of my life. For all the days of my life. For all the days of my life. Tonight, I consider myself the luckiest father on the face of the earth. Liz, you're the absolute best partner for our brother Stephen, and we could not be more proud to welcome you to the Coil Club. Liz and Stephen, congratulations on the start of an awesome life together. Stephen and Liz, you are both such strong, interesting people apart, but you're truly at your best together. I'm so thankful to call you both my friends, and I wish you the very best in life and marriage. Remember these three simple phrases. I was wrong, you were right, and I love you. If those words are spoken with sincerity, they're very, very powerful in a relationship. Remember that as you go forward in marriage. Your honesty and kindness will serve you well in married life. In my vast two years of marital experience, um, speaking your mind, listening well, and being able to move on will get you pretty far. May the two of you have a lifetime of friendship and love, and a lifetime of adventure, health, happiness, and prosperity. To the two of you. By the power vested in me by the state of California, I now pronounce you husband and wife, you may kiss the bride. Here, here's a toast to Liz and Steven making a lifetime of perfectly personal moments forever. Ooh.